Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a model in ReactJS using start components. So this is a demo of the application we're going to build. When you click on this model, this button, the model comes up and you can close it by clicking on the close button. And it also closes whenever you click outside of the model. When you click in inside the model, nothing happens, so still stays, but outside it closes. So let's go ahead and build this model. Also notice this uh, nice background SVG file. I got it from this site and I'm going to put the link in the description below. So this is the, the uh, SVG image. You can download it from here. I'm going to download it right away. And uh, so I'm going to open it here. Now let's uh, first of all create a React application using Create React App. I'm going to call it a uh, So let's uh, wait for it to install. No, it's finished installing. Let's uh, see the in in into the folder and open our code editor. Let's start the server at once. npm start. Good, this is our React app. Let's go and clean up the folders. Let's uh, remove the, the files we will not be using. So, um, here we have... Good. Now inside this uh, HTML file, I'm going to give some basic styles. Let's see. No. Let's first of all I'll place the image inside that. Oh, uh, going to that. We have to move to an exercise. Now place the, the file we downloaded inside the text the uh, public folder of our project. Now while it is here, this is the SVG file SVG files here. So I'm going to set that SVG as the background to the body tag. Let's see here. Then I'll just give the name of that file. Mm -hmm. So clean it up. Good. And uh, now let's look at our application. So this is this is it. We're going to create another file. Let's call it button. Let's let's see let's keep that in a components directory. And I'm going to move the app file inside the components directory and create a new component called button. This is going to be all the button on the screen. I'm going 
to import it here. Now let's do the link. Okay, this is our button here. Next thing is to create the model component. I'm going to just call it model get sex. Class component and what was the text again? Just copy this text it's bad. Let's give it to I'm going to import it here. Good, this is all model here. Now let's uh, install style components. Well, that is getting installed. Let's just start applying the styles. Need to import. I'm going to see the model. Start with three hundred and ninety pixels, the height of two hundred pixels. Over 
Raiders. Oh, fuck. This is our model. Let's now we're going to apply our styles, our, our animations. So let's go to the buttons component, and I'm going to use uh, use the use state hook. So we'll say use. I'll import it first. Then I'm going to create a variable, a state variable called um, open model. Show model and uh, I'm going to so create a handler and show model model to. So this is going to say if the show model is true, render model. So let's click and render. So we are now able to do the rendering. Let's handle the closing of the model. Now that we have that, let's also let's create another. Let's create a callback function now. Say close model. And we are going to pass that as a prop to the model component. So the model component will be ex uh, expecting that as a prop. And that's it. So now let's we're going to use a we are we're going to use a ref reference to uh, permit us to close and open the to close the uh, model when a user clicks on on maybe somewhere else that's not on the model. So I'm going to use ref equals node and I need to create a variable select call it model ref and uh, give it an old value model ref and it's going to be equal to node So that's it. Now let's uh, use let's import use use effect and then I'm 
going to have an event handler called handle rules. Now this event handler should expect a state in an event and uh, So I'm going to check to close the model and I'm going to check if the model where exists if it's defined and that model ref does not contain does not contain the event target. Then close the model. That is good. And here, here I'm actually not going to call this. I'm going to instead call the close model here. So that's it. Now this handle close will be used in the use effect hook. So I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do. Let's do a document. Dot add event listener. And the event is going to be a quick event. Then uh, I'm going to call the handle close. Good. Then let's clean up. Let's remove that quick event. New document dot remove event listener. And it's going to be click and handle close. For the input, nothing. So let's now see. Let's click outside, closes. Let's click on the model, nothing happens. Let's click here, it closes. So we are do we are done with the functionalities. Let's now add the animation. So the, ad the animation is going to be on the model box. So I'm going to create an animation name. This is how we start to give it the animation name. Let's just say grow box. And let's give it an animation duration of 0 0.4 seconds and an animation timing function. Animation timing function of linear or let's say is in out. Yeah, let's give it x in out. So we are going to use uh, keyframes. So this is how we use the keyframes. And for zero percent, when it's at zero percent of its rendering, so at zero percent, I want it to have an opacity of opacity of point two. At twenty five percent, opacity of point four. And fifty percent point six so let's see. Okay, the keyframe is supposed to to take the name of the animation, so the name is go box. So that's the name of our animation and uh, Seventy-five percent. You have an opacity of point eight. Then at hundred percent, we're going to have opacity the weight. So then the height. Good. Let's see. So uh, let's make the width. To be our good, so this is our animation. So everything works very well. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. In case you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the like button. Thank you for watching. And I'm going to place the the link to this page to this website where you can download. We can get. 
can download all, all sorts of uh, illustrations for uh, your websites. We have all sorts. You can just come and search them. And that's all. So, see you in the next video.